Pine to Palm 100 is a 100.5 mile endurance run through Southern Oregon's remote and rugged Cascade mountain range. From Williams, Oregon to Ashland, Oregon. It's a race that I attempted to run in 2022 and I came up short pulling out at mile 80. I'm heading back up to give this another try and we'll see how things go. Checking in? Yeah, you guys started up at the top there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thank you all for just being patient with me. There's not much I can do about it. I mean, I'm here in Southern Oregon, it kind of builds into the afternoon a lot, but by the time people had made it to Seattle Bar down in mile like 28, 29, you know, it was already about 100 degrees. This year's race had a total of 82 entrants right and historically has a finishing rate of about 50%. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Drop bags are allowed at nine of the 17 aid stations on the course. The evening before, the aid station captains will collect up the drop bags and get them out to the respective stations. I don't think this is a superstition, but maybe it is. This is the meal that I eat before every race. Pesto with sausage and salad. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Just gotta get some rest and give it my best tomorrow. Sorry about the light. Race bibs are handed out in the morning just prior to the race. Runners have a total of 34 hours to complete the race. The Pine to Palm 100 boasts over 20,000 feet of ascent and descent and begins the day with a 4,000 plus foot ascent over the Grayback Trailhead. The Grayback Trailhead is heavily forested with numerous false summits, yielding occasional views. Eventually, when you reach the summit, you'll see some 75 miles in the distance, Wagner Butte, which is the final summit of the day. Runners entering the Seattle Bar 8 station will not be allowed to continue unless they reach it by 2 p.m.
The climb up to Stein Butte is a 2,500 foot ascent in the heat of the day. It's exposed and it's dry, and it leads you six miles up to the Elliott Ridge Aid Station. Upon entering the Hanley Gap aid station, runners need to ascend one mile to a lookout to retrieve a flag. <laughs> yeah, thank you. What aid station is this? What aid station is this? This is the one right before um, Dutchman. Dutchman? Okay. So it's the one right before Dutchman. Okay. So coming up. Alright, right, buddy. Runners that do not make it to Dutchman Peak at mile 66 by 2 a.m. will not be permitted to continue. There you go. Good job. All right. Great job. Thank you. How's it going? Oh, it's going. 30. 32. Yeah, I do. Thirty-two. Can we get you? Um, you got any like soup? And we do. I just pulled out of Grouse Gap, which is at mile eighty, and I've got a ten-mile climb to the summit of Wagner Butte which should be a really awesome view from up there. And then a 10 mile descent to the finish line. Looks like it's gonna be a great day. Yeah, that was brutal. Had to climb up right through there, come up that ridge. It's about two miles out along this ridge, and then you have to come up and grab this flag. It's quite, quite punishing. <laughs> 